Like what? Right so here? yeah, Pluto. Okay, so Pluto is finishing up in Capricorn. It's still got a few more years, but it is what we call on the cusp of Aquarius. Pluto is a, a whenever it is active, wherever it's active, it's worldwide. It affects everybody. It's in the the consciousness of the world, and so, and it usually kind of rips out our belief systems at the roots. Now, when it's leaving Capricorn, which has been all the political stuff that we've had to deal with, it's going into Aquarius. It's already started with all the gender issues, which Aquarius, because it's an androgynous sign, is very pro getting rid of all these barriers, all these uh, uh, categories. It's a pure Aquarian uh, perspective and wanting to just make it all one. But Aquarius, as we're seeing with some of the thinking that's going on right now, Aquarius is dogmatic as can be. And that's the Saturn influence, which is the original rulership of Aquarius. For modern astrologers, a lot of them have dropped the Saturn and only think of the Uranus, which is forward thinking and eclectic and, um, creative, but that's not the whole picture with Aquarius, and anyone who knows an Aquarius, who's, uh, depending where that Aquarius is, whether it's Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, it's dogmatic, it's a sign that wants things to be the way it thinks it should be, so it's rigid, dogmatic, emphatic, and, and all in the common good, you put, maybe need to put quotes around that, because, um, wherever that Aquarius is functioning, and right now it's functioning on the mundane level, which means in the world arena, and we're having these issues around thinking yeah. and how we think, because it's an air sign, right? It's all about air, and it's very humanitarian, but in the global sense, in um, that's where you get whole societal limitations because it's not about the individual. The individual's rights are toast <laughs> when you're dealing with Aquarius because Aquarius is about the, the group. It's about yeah. society as a whole. Yeah. And so, I mean, some of it can be good where you get things like um, health care for everyone, but where you get, um, I'm sorry, you have to think the way I want you to think, otherwise you're a bad person that's also Aquarius. It's not so, positive Aquarius, but it's Aquarius. And Pluto isn't even in Aquarius yet. So it's very so Aquarius. Just it up. It, so it's very Aquarius for people to say, hey, we should all have health care, but at the same time, only those who agree with what we think. Well, no. It, it's, it's You're saying it's too, dogmatic. It's dogmatic, yes. Yeah. So it, that's where it's, that's where you're getting this attitude of you have to think this way because it's the right way to think. It's better for everybody. Mm. That whole, because Aquarius is about society as a whole, it rules groups, not individuals. So it's not the the emphasis we had before, which was a Pisces impulse um, of the individual, the, the, the hurting individual. We must drop everything and run and help them. Aquarius is well, that individual can drown. We're going to look after, you know, keep the ship upright. And if that means few people are are casualties, well, that's the way it has so to be the, because it's it's the many over the few. So in the age of Pisces, we loved those who were crucified and 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 either and and went to you know who were who were. We, doing more, poorly we had to help the, the little guy we had to help the individual help the, the little individual. guy but in the age of aquarius it's going to be more like the group the group so if the little guy doesn't you know the 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 the, the you know doesn't the, go along with the uh with group the, then the little guy can is the one who will suffer if you stick out you get hammered down well and and it will depend and it'll vary it seems so as aquarius of course it's funny that you're saying all this about the age of aquarius to aquarius but to an aquarius but it just seems that there should be also uh, 
people think of Aquarius often as, 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 as individualistic and humanitarian, but it's funny that it comes along with so much, uh, yeah, potential dogmatism and uh, cruelty, well, especially societally. Any of the, if, you, if you're looking at astrology, every single sign has the way in which they can be cruel and the way in which they can be the most loving person ever sure. or the yeah. the planet or the or the society if it's ruled by one particular energy and there's charts for countries so so the thing is that aquarius certainly is no more or less cruel I mean, than capricorn or pisces or any of the other ones i mean they all have their their tendencies you know it's the the light and the dark is there in every single sign so you can't ever say oh well this one's good this one's yeah, bad obviously obviously so aquarius but what we're coming into and the progression is always that the worst of that sign pluto will dig up right down to the roots will bring up absolutely the worst is going to come up and then get to be dealt with and then eventually it'll it'll plateau and even out and then you end up with a new understanding once that sign is finished. But this isn't <laughs> a quick process. And so Ominous people words, are going to take... Once that is finished. <laughs> people once, are going to... Once the final solution has been solved. Well, and people are going to have to decide for themselves where they are with it. So it'll be a challenge for sure. And people will have to take a look at you know what their moral and ethical position is going to be um but you're seeing it already where people saying for the good of all everyone should be vaccinated and then there's the people saying my individual rights need to be respected but the majority ruling and this is because it's aquarius is no, your individual rights are not more important than our societal good, and we believe that this is what the society needs. So this is absolutely spot on, exactly what one expects with Pluto coming into Aquarius, and, it, it doesn't, it, and it, settle in for a long haul. So there, there's, it sounds like there was a few verses missing from the popular song in your generation, this the is the dawning the age, of the, the age this, of cancel culture, let me, forced let me finish. vaccination, this is and Pluto death in Aquarius. camps. This is Pluto in Aquarius. Death camps. This, death camps. Not the age. The camps. age will go on for longer. Yeah, of course. Well, very this long is, time. This is the. This, this is, is the Pluto, Pluto transitioning transiting yeah, into Pluto Aquarius. transit in Aquarius. So it's a it's a rough start, you might say. Well, it's got separated out from the age of Aquarius. We're already in the age of Aquarius. Pluto has to go through all the all the signs. So it's now going to go into Aquarius and you're getting the first waves of that influence where there is going to be a revolution, which is the uh, Uranus part of Aquarius. There's going to be a revolution on thinking. So for the people who are saying... What's going on right now? For people... Well, it's beginning. Yeah. It's by no means anywhere near uh, the middle or the end. It's got a long way to go. Yeah, when's Pluto go in? Um, I'd have to. Yeah. I'd have to look so it up. Is it's, it months or years? It's a few years. It's like two or three years. Jeez. And then it starts. Then it really is going to get then, kicked well, off. Well, then it it's a process. And how and long it is, it, Pluto will be in there for I years? Told you I Many years, have, right? Yeah, it's years. Many years. Yeah. It's years, and so I'd have to look it up. Yeah. Um, the exact date, and it goes. Right now, it's at the end of Capricorn, going back and forth a bit. Then it's and it's beginning to have that wave of Aquarian energy, as mm. we're getting control around thinking, for the thinking for the good of all, how to think. Mm. So it's going to be a real, a really long process, and people are going to get challenged personally and as a member of society on what actually is good for society and ultimately there has to be a balance between individual and societal rights 
but uh, don't expect a lot of uh, gentleness and compassion from Aquarius because when it's very busy focusing on the good of society, it can be very rigid and dark dogmatic and absolutely run right over the rights of the individual because it's, it's very much groupthink. And you, we are seeing the first stages of that now. So people need to see what is true for them. And probably as with gender and with all these other uh, rules that are coming down from governments, um, where, where each person is going to stand will be challenged. And it's a process. Thank you. I, I think that others will enjoy that as much as I knew I would. 